So a, a couple weeks ago, I went to uh, go see a game called uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. It's in development. And uh, one of the things that the director was saying that kind of sent up all the, the gamer red flags uh, was that he was trying to make uh, the puzzles to be not too challenging. He didn't want people to get stuck. He kind of wanted this to be a game that people got through in one one go and, and it had pacing. And so, you know, like I said at first, like your reaction is like, oh, that sounds kind of weird. That sounds like they're dumbing it down. Uh, but, you know, actually getting your hands on it and the fact that, you, you know, in, in that game, you're having to deal with this strange control scheme anyways. Uh, you know, one of the things I saw is that you would start interacting with something and as you're interacting, then you would kind of get it and things would fall into place. So it still had a satisfying mechanic. Um, but you know, as we've seen, like a lot of people trying to, uh, you know, boost completion rates and things like that, they don't want people to stop playing the game entirely. Uh, you know, puzzles have taken kind of a backseat unless there's something super focused on puzzles like Pro Professor Layton. So I guess the question is, uh, you know, how, where, where do you find that balance? Do you, do you want a really hard puzzle that's going to take you some time to figure out? Do you figure out a puzzle or do you just go straight to game facts or something? Uh, you know, what exactly, uh, what is the role that puzzles have in games today? See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.